Hi friends, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My name is China, also known as Sugar Doll Plans or Sugar Box Stickers, whichever you prefer. I am coming at you guys today with a planner flip through of my July 2020 to June 2021 spreads. And yes, I am aware it is August 2021. I just finished filling out my planner like an hour ago or maybe two hours ago and then I've been spending the rest of the time trying to make this organized to show you guys all of what's going to be a part of this giveaway. Um, so I'm, be, I'm going to be doing um, two giveaway winners. Uh, that will come at the end of the video so make sure to stay tuned for that. There's also this stuff here and there is also two boxes already. I have some stuff in there um, on the side of my desk. Um, so yeah, that's uh, going to be at the end of this video, so stay tuned for that announcement and to see everything that is, you know, going to be kind of a part of the giveaway. I'm not going to go into, like, too much detail. I will try to show you, like, all the kit leftovers. Um, essentially, it is a kit leftover slash rack type of giveaway, so that is what I am doing, and it is a lot of leftovers because it's, like, pretty much half of my whole entire year. Um, so let's go ahead and open this thick-ass planner um this is what the planner looks like let me move this out of the way and let me see if i can adjust the i'm trying to adjust all right i did some adjustments we'll see if i like that in editing but if not so um you guys should be familiar with my planner flip through of like my setup not too much has really changed. Maybe some stuff moved here and there. Um, I have this cute little balloon die cut that I love, and I love how it peeks out in pictures. Um, this little vinyl, so not too much has changed. I'm not gonna focus too much. <laughs> Sorry, I'm burping. On the setup, this little acetate was added, um, but this is the same. This is the same, I believe. Um, all, you know, stuff that I needed, I've moved out of here. And now it's just, um, this is going to go on my bookshelf and as a completed planner. So, yeah, I can't believe it. This is, like, my first planner I've ever completed, um, which is insane. Like, I always start one and never finish. So, I'm so happy to have finished it. Um, here are my dangles. I will be taking them off once I put them on my bookshelf. Um, this one is already broken, um, but it's okay. But it's very delicate. It's the, Both of those dangles are from Exo Caroline Designs. So on the front, we have this acetate um, and this vinyl that I made um, with just a font. Uh, I am considering selling vinyls in my shop, so keep an eye out for that. But yeah, I made this vinyl um, with you know some Cricut vinyl that I had. And, um, yeah, I just put on this acetate. And then we have here another acetate, and we have all these other vinyls. Um, these are from, uh, how do I say? Sparkly Paper Co., I think is her name. Um, and then have this dashboard. This was made with, like, a TN kit from Scribble Prince Co. It's no longer there, but, like, sometimes you might get it in, like, a... a grab bag I want to say so keep an eye out for her grab bags um so moving along on this back side of this dashboard we have um some uh Disney treats that I went ahead and just like double-sided adhesive taped them to the dashboard and then moving along I used my caress press inserts that went from July to January I will be using hers that go from January to December but I will be just taking out December through um, June and doing July through December and my other planner that I already have um, and I will try to start doing videos uh, doing plan with me's with that you know don't hold me too much to that but it's definitely something I want to do um, and I'm gonna start working on that soon uh, and filming for July and getting caught up so yeah um, don't hold me to that though uh, so here is just like the monthly overview um, here is July. I did not decorate this dashboard. I might go back and like add stuff, but I don't know. Um, so here's my July monthly. Uh, I should have had a July monthly like highlights video because I was filming at that time. Um, and I will probably try to make a card here, uh, to let you know to go look at that if you want to. Um, but I will go ahead and zoom in. I'll try not to go too much into too many details that it might bore you guys because I do have a plan with me on this but um pretty much July like last year is a lot different than my life now um we had 
one of my best friends, he's moved um, to Florida and he works at Disney right now, but he was trying to, you know, have like his makeup that he does on his, on his Instagram. And I was, you know, marking that I was able to support him. Uh, he was doing Instagram live. Um, my work phone's going off, sorry. Um, it's just probably an email. Then, you know, we had like a goodbye dinner for my manager who left a year ago. Um, I marked it was my manager's last day. Um, for 4th of July, nothing too crazy. We watched uh, fireworks on, you know, Disney on TV. Pretty much if you just go to YouTube and you look up Disney World fireworks, there's videos. Um, Naya Rivera uh, passing away, it was very sad. Um, I don't know, I don't know guys, like, uh, fell and hurt my knee, tuition reimbursement, and, um, I registered for fall, uh, I need to do my car inspection, I'm late on that, tax return refund, that was nice, um, <laughs> the Mark, uh, once more with love, pregnant sale, when she announced her pregnancy, I shopped a bit, um, so yeah, not too much. Uh, but, you know, I did mark, like, I wanted to quit my job. I've been wanting to quit my job for a while now, but, um, you guys will see soon, um, when I start doing Plan With Me is what's going on. Um, so here, you know, this should have had a plan with me, so I'm not going to go into too many details. I still think I forgot to put something here. Like, did I go to the pool or what? I forgot to put a script in or just write it in. Um, but this was the week of 4th of July. I forgot to use like a cook script. Uh, I don't know if I went to the pool, what happened, I don't know. But yeah, this is back when I had, you know, planned with me's and stuff. And I'm trying, like I said, I'm trying to get back into it. I just love this foil. I think it's awesome. This is great. Everything about this is great. Um, so moving along, we have here. I don't always remember to fill these out. So these might be missing in some of these, some of these spreads. Um, but you know, this should have ha also had a plan with me, so I won't go into too much details, but this kit is from Caress Press. Um, and I didn't do the little flag that I always do, or the deco, which is crazy to me. Like, why didn't I do that? Um, but this is, this, uh, kit was Scrubber Prince Co., just so you know. Um, moving along, there should be a plan with me for this, so I'm not gonna go too into detail, but this is from Caress Press. Um, looks like a lot going on. Definitely, like, my planning style, definitely, and my handwriting changes a lot at the end, you'll see. Um, and then this is when I tried to make some of my own scripts for myself, just using, like, a font. Um, and now I have a script shop, so that's fun. Script slash doodles, whatever you want to say. Um, so this is when I made some hollow scripts for myself, and I used my mink. It was not a good time. But this is so cute. I kind of love how this, how I have the little published plan with me. I am considering doing like foiled scripts for like myself for each week when I start planning so gonna definitely have to be proactive about that um but yeah I love this kit I love the way it looks I love the colors everything I love that I made the scripts in the hollow um so yeah and this is I think this kit is from caress press I think so um but I will leave the playlist down below of all my plan with me so you guys can go watch um, and that was the end of July. Uh, moving on to August, there is a monthly highlights for this as well. So um, if you want to see the video, um, just go ahead and go watch the playlist that I'm gonna, you know, link or card or whatever in my playlist. Um, this is from Scoba Prince Co. This got all messed up. Um, I tried to take these like things off. Like don't use this to hold down the tape, Is uh, hold down the, box that's all I'm saying like right now if I had to do this again I'd probably just use like my fan remote or my airpods or something like don't do that because it messed up the box because I don't have like um bougie box not bougie box full box overlays but yeah this is a scrub Prince co kit I love this kit a lot um for the ones that I have planned base for I'm not going to go into too much detail so moving along to this one this one's also a scrub Prince co um kit it was a mystery um, I do have an extender here, so have, you know, it's really pretty. I just really love the colors. Forgot to do this over here, but, um, yeah, if you are interested in, you know, how I feel about the spread, go check out the plan with me. Then we have this one here. 
I'm making sure I'm in frame. We have this one here. This is from Sticky Essentials, and this was me color blocking. Um, I do, I don't know, I hate my handwriting here. Uh, that's really all I can collect my thoughts on. I didn't even bother to have it track, um, and I didn't bother to put something over here, so. Yeah, if you have any questions about anything though, feel free to comment down below. Um, I think I will, you know, and obviously in the ones that I have planned with me for, you can just go, you know, watch. I'll tell you like each sticker where it's from. Um, but this is from Caress Press. This was a mystery. This was a very controversial mystery. The fashion girls were hideous. As you can see, I didn't use them. You know, this kind of probably set in for people like why they don't like fashion girls at all. Um, so anyways, this is, um, from Caress Press, you know, I thought the theming was cute and I thought the colors were great, um, I just didn't love the fashion girls, so. Also, my handwriting was crazy and I think my pen was thicker. So moving along, um, this might be, like, the last plan with me I filmed, besides, like, my shop, when I'm back plan my shop anniversary. Let me go to my YouTube real quick, sorry. Let me go to my channel, playlist, where are my playlists playing with me? Um, the August monthly highlights was the last one, and then this was one of them. And then I have my, um, what's it called? Shop opening week, so. Um, I didn't write here or put a script here, same goes for here, um, but this was the last play with me I filmed. I was supposed to probably put like work from home or something, tired, I don't know. This is before I had like a lot of scripts. I started to really invest in them a lot more over the last year. Um, they didn't used to be a priority to me and it's kind of, the priority kind of dropped for me as well now. Um, but yeah, this was like the first week of going back to fall 2020 semester, all my classes were online. That's not the case this time, unfortunately. <laughs> so moving along, this is my September. Um, I made this kit myself uh, to memory plan. It is not perfect. I would never sell this, but it works for me. Um, you know, I got the measurement a little bit too thin. It's like, you can see the border here. Um, this part was fine and so is this part, but the little sidebar, I didn't have the measurements perfect, so. Anyways, um, this is my like September highlights. I wrote here F U C K C O X. Um, sorry if you have kids in the room, but um, Cox, they piss me off. I'm forced to have them at my apartment complex, and I've lived in my apartment complex for like nearly four years. And so every year they would just up the payment, and you know, they tried to up it to like something 200 something dollars. And I was like, are you effing kidding me? No. So. We canceled, my boyfriend signed up as a customer, and then um, got the promotional price. So we got our internet for, you know, the next two years at a set price, and then we'll figure out what to do from there. Um, so yeah, and then it was my little cousin's 21st birthday. Um, I was at my mom's house this time, you know. Uh, what else? I was watching Lovecraft Country. Um, I got some new stuff from my office, um, went to a cute little brunch place with my boyfriend, um, I framed a puzzle with my boyfriend, we did a puzzle, we finished a puzzle, um, <clears throat> we, I don't know if this is my first time getting burger fries or what, um, it's a chain, like, burger place, it's really good. Um, went to the farmer's market. I love the farmer's market. <laughs> the presidential debate was a shit show, as all United States politics are. Um, working on shop stuff. Halloween baking championship. Um, I was like, whose birthday is Emily? I was like, I was like, which Emily? I know a few Emilys, but it's my kind of like sister-in-law. So, um, then this spread is a Scorpio Prince Co. mystery. Um, not too much that was important going on, just lots of studying, being annoyed at work, Cox pissed me off. Um, we had weevils, we still do, I hate them so much. I'm trying to get rid of them if you have any suggestions. Um, 
So yeah, then there was planner drama. I don't know what the drama was. I think it was like the, um, you know, blackface drama. I don't remember. <laughs> There's been too much drama over the last year. Um, so then we have this spread here, and this is um, a Pink Diamond Planner Co. kit. It was my cousin's birthday. Um, we had a sleepover at my mom's house, me and my boyfriend. And then the next day, I was so tired. I don't get good sleep at my mom's house. <laughs> Her guest bed is um, smaller than like our bed. Her guest bed's a queen bed. And our bed is a California king. My boyfriend's six foot five. I'm five foot five. And then my boy, my boyfriend, my dog, he likes to sleep with us um, whenever we go to my mom's house or, you know, even if he's here. And my mom has this big bed. I don't know why he wants to sleep with us. And it's just my mom in her bed. But he wants to sleep with us. And um, he, like, makes it impossible to get comfortable sleep already. Like, sometimes in my California king bed. But luckily it's bigger so we get to space out more. But in that bed, like, he's, like, right in your feet and everything. It's just not comfortable. So I was so tired. Um, we went to this breakfast place called National at the National Harbor, and we got takeout. Um, and then we went from, you know, Maryland back home. My mom lives in Maryland. I live in Virginia. Um, I was doing some studying. <laughs> Pissed off at my boyfriend. Um, yeah, there was Labor Day weekend, so... That's what was going on that week. This is from Glam Planner. Um, I don't typically order from her shop. I ordered, I bought this like from someone selling it on Instagram. I think it was liking his plans. Um, but anyways, there is this kit. Um, I really do love like this kit. Um, I think it just, you know, beautiful colors, love fall, love the vibes. I think it turned out great. Um, I'm trying to see was there anything too special? I don't know why I, like, was so set on, like, marking three and a half years with my boyfriend. I guess because, like, our half-year, like, six-month anniversary was, like, really special when we first started dating. But typically, we're not, like, oh, it's a three and a half, or, you know, it's three and six months, or that's a half. Three and seven months, or whatever. We don't typically do that, but whatevs. Um, so, yeah, we finished a puzzle. Um, I had a little brunch date, farmer's market, we were trying to look at apartments, um, but we're still in our current apartment. We will see what happens, you know, within the next year or two. Um, moving on to this one, this is Sticky Essentials, I love this. Um, I used some foil, I didn't use too many like full box overlays, but I used some foil from Sadie Stickers and some... This is Sadie Stickers. Um, definitely check out Sadie Stickers. Uh, I think she calls them Foiled Tuesdays. Um, check those out right now. <laughs> I'm posting this and it should still be up. I think she has a Harry Potter and Zodiac themed one right now. But yeah, um, not too much going on. Um, and this spread, I went back to the farmer's market. Um, my mom picked up cannoli, my dog, he was with us, I guess. And yeah, there's not too much. I definitely, you know, love the colors, love the vibes. Um, love the little paper shire, like, fall doodles and whatnot. Um, surprised that I don't have the little flag and the, you know, the September in the top corner or any deco, but it's okay. So moving along, I put this dashboard in the middle. I don't know why. Um, this is for October. Um, I just put some Disney... Um, finals that I had and stickers so this is my October monthly this is like one of my favorites I love how this turned out so much I typically don't like to use a monthly that I use the same art for a kit and a weekly but I did that anyways because this was the one because it's my birthday month and my shop opening month um so yeah on I guess the important thing would be on the 10th I opened my shop I'm still so sorry that I'm not that consistent with it. And trust me, I have a lot of imposter syndrome with my shop. Um, you know, I'm trying to figure things out and work on things and, you know, just kind of plan for the future. Um, but I definitely love that, you know, I used Halloween doodles for like basic things. I think it really, you know, takes it to the next level. I love using these little dangles and whatnot. These are from Paper Shire. Um, but I marked my best friend's birthday here, and I use a little mandala, uh, or 
I think it's Mandela. <laughs> then I use a C. Amy Draw laptop Halloween doodle to mark working on my shop like nonstop all night. Like I didn't get no sleep. <laughs> and then working on shop all day again with once more with love. Um, I love the way that this was marked. Um, working on orders till 1 p.m. with a little rip graveyard. That's the one thing that's like so hard for me trying to manage my shop and I'm trying to get better at it, but pretty much what ends up happening, just to give you an insight into, you know, what happens when I have new releases and orders and whatnot, is that um, I, you know, I was having issues with my silhouettes, with my printers, with everything. And pretty much what ends up happening is like if one thing goes right, one thing goes wrong. Um, and so it can become very depressing, like especially as one person. So I just kind of wanted to share insight to that because like there's times where, you know, this was a work day. This wasn't a day that I had off and I was up until, I didn't mean to say 1 p.m. I meant to say 1 a.m. <laughs> but, um, you know, up until 1 a.m. And even right now I'm feeling this. it's 12.30 in the morning. Um, but, you know, it becomes very depressing to, like, make your whole entire day, like, I mean, it's a productive way, but it's hard to, like, make your mind that because you're so wrapped in, like, trying to get these orders out. It's a very stressful and high-stakes situation um, because you obviously don't want to disappoint people. Um, so, yeah, that, that, that definitely gives me a little bit of imposter syndrome. I don't know why I marked here first time trying Burger Fry when I already marked it. So, that was a mistake on my part. But yeah, I tried Burger Fi. Um, I did a video production and I had a midterm. So I was like staying up till 1 a.m. midterms and video productions at work and just very stressful time. Um, trust me, like working on a shop is not easy um, in the slightest. It's exhausting. There are days that, you know, from the minute I wake up, from the minute I go to sleep, I'm working on orders alone. It's like I can't even eat, I can't drink, I can't get up, I can't go to the bathroom, I can't run to the store if I need to. Like that is my whole entire day and that will sometimes happen like for a whole weekend. I know it's like I choose to go into having a shop and trust me, I'm not complaining. Like I'm just trying to give an idea of what it's like to be a shop owner, especially where you're the only person who can create what you're doing um, and work on what you're doing. Like the most that my boyfriend's been able to help me, unfortunately, has just been um, like putting the journaling cards <laughs> in the cello bags. So um, we will see. Um, I am working on trying to have stuff like ready to ship um, and already stocked. So that's what's going on with my shop. Um, but that, you know, I'm trying to, for me, have my planner caught up before going back into it. So um, just because this is like my outlet and I feel like, you know, I start to resent planning by not having like time for me and time for my planner and having, you know, this creative outlet as well as, you know, running my shop. But this is important to me too. So until, you know, I feel comfortable enough caught up with my planner, I will not be opening my shop again. Um, I'm trying to finish it this month though. So hopefully by the end of this month, I'll have some stuff for you guys. So sorry for the little tangent, but I just thought I would explain like it's a lot. <laughs> To be a shop owner um, but anyways here i marked you know doing apple picking with my family we had to go pretty far away this time typically we go somewhere it's like less than an hour uh, uh, roughly an hour and you know this time it was like over an hour and a half um past baltimore i live in northern virginia uh so to give you an idea you know it's almost like two hours away um then here on the 18th um let me zoom in we um, watched The Addams Family. It was my first time seeing The Addams Family, but it was my first, uh, I watched that with my boyfriend and his family. We all just pretty much got on like a phone call with um, his brothers and his brother's significant others and his mom and, you know, watched it all, press play at the same time. And I made some like apple cider um, Moscow meals for me and my boyfriend and whatnot. Um, here I marked announcing giveaway winners. I made spoopy chocolate apples. Um, worked on listings, designed super late. I had a birthday dinner with my boyfriend. Um, quality time with family. So even like to give you perspective, like I was working on getting like birthday release and sales stuff done like on my birthday, which is, you know, bad timing on my part, you know, not great. <laughs> Um, time management but I was also doing like two classes and working full-time and 
Yeah, it was just really tiring. Um, this day I was able to open a P.O. box, so thank you guys so much for your support because I was able to do that and not have um, my address out there. Um, then I did an Instagram live play with me, and that's when I kind of became best friends with two of my best friends. Um, I was kind of already close with Shay, um, but I was not really, you know, friends with Kinsey yet, and so they joined my play with me and made me feel, like, good. Um, I mean, I feel like I wasn't, you know, boring and just talk to me and we all became friends. Um, so that is um, that. And then I watched, watched Rocky Horror with my boyfriend. Um, so moving along, let me zoom back out. This is a kit from Scribble Prints Co. I love this art. It was a mystery. I think it was July mystery. I just love this so much. Um, yeah, this was just a lot of fun. Um, this, I have a plan with me up for this, so I won't go into too much detail, but this is when I opened my shop. I didn't do well at these, um, extenders. I wish Andrea had her video, like, last year when I did this, but whatever. Um, so I opened my shop, and it was just insane, but I, you know, talked a lot about, you know, all of the struggles that I went through in that plan with me, so feel free to watch that. Um, this kit is from Scribble Prince Co. I need to put the October up top, but this is for when we went to go apple picking with my family. Um, I think this pen is different. Um, but yeah, this was fun. I really do enjoy this spread. All the foil, all the foil is most likely from Sadie Stickers. Then this is my birthday spread. It was my golden birthday, and I hated that it happened in a pandemic because in my in my heart, I was always like, I'm going to have my golden birthday, and I'm going to go to Disney World. Like, And I could have gone to Disney World um, if the money was there, if it wasn't a pandemic, if it wasn't expensive. But, yeah, that's just, that's just life. So I was lucky enough to go to Disney for my, like, 22nd birthday, I think, or 23rd birthday, either one. But anyways, um, I digress, so I, you know, asked my boyfriend, you know, can we go to Disneyland, um, for my birthday one year for the Halloween stuff, and yeah, we're gonna do that, so, um, I early voted, you know, sorry if this is, you know, controversial, I didn't like Donald Trump, I uh, didn't vote for him, so, uh, then it was my birthday, um, I had a birthday dinner date, design all day, design all night, like, design insights of what I was doing, Photoshop and listings, um, cake and presents. I missed marking something down here. I don't know what. List new releases, procrastinating. Yeah, it was a lot. Um, sorry, my air just turned off. So that was that. Moving along, this is November. I also made this as well. This side part came out a little bit better, um, but I used some washi tape overlays from Rose Colored Days uh, for this. Um, so here we go. Um, I made this with art from Kittenish Jess, this November monthly. I didn't like anyone else's monthly, so I just made one for myself. Um, so I, you know, had election uh, fatigue and a silhouette nightmare. So I finally cutting, thank God. First holiday drink, Biden Harris victory. I lost my wallet and it was found the next day. Um, let me see. Christmas movie night. I got a switch for my birthday from my boyfriend, so I was finally setting it up with my island. Um, another Christmas movie night. These were scripts that I made myself. Um, Thanksgiving, Black Friday design. Opened my shop for a Black Friday and Cyber Monday sale. And I took down fall decor and put up Christmas decor. So that's what happened. And then this is my Halloween. Um, spread and I love all the hollow like Halloween you know um, but I love this so much it is just so gorgeous I can't this is so stunning like I just can't so this is from Sage Stickers this is from um, Simply Gilded um, not too much going on I did a PO run um, IG live planning session Farmer's Market, working on orders, put up the tree, yeah, I put up the tree that night. So yeah, that's what was going on. Um, and then this is the week after. Um, this is a kit from Caress Press. I like that it had kind of like Halloween vibes, like the creepy reel, but it was also fall. So I think that works great for like a transition from Halloween to fall. 
Um, but I marked Biden Harris win by Trump. First bread cups at Straw Starbies. I almost said Strawbies. Um, so yeah, not too much. This is the um, week of the election. I like this pen. I think I was using like a Energel Clina. I might go back to that. We'll see. Um, this is from Crest Press. This kit. And the foil right here is from Sadie Stickers. I didn't put any foil headers or foil <laughs> overlays on the um, full boxes, but I did use some scripts. See, so yes, um, I lost my wallet and then my boyfriend found my wallet for me the next day after I already canceled it. Um, this is from Caress Press as well. It was a mystery. Um, I set up my uh, Animal Crossing Switch, so my new Switch, had an all hands production at work. Um, so yeah, that was that. This is the week of Thanksgiving. I love this so much. I love this girl right here. Um, my dog, he was at the groomers and he pulled too hard um, while he was getting groomed and his eyes hemorrhaged. Um, it was very scary, but we gave him love and cuddles and then, you know, we were like, we didn't know if it was like cherry eye or what when it first happened. And then the next day he was still hemorrhaged, so we had to take him to the vet. Um, luckily someone had canceled and so we had to rush in there and picked him up from the vet. Um, you know, I listened to X Xmas Christmas music um, with my dog and <laughs> took a nap on the couch. It was very cozy. Um, and then my boyfriend ordered Thai delivery. Um, and then we went to my mom's for Thanksgiving. Um, I ordered some Christmas gifts for Black Friday, Cyber Monday. Period started. Christmas movie marathon, design all day, draw. Christmas movie marathon, work on Shopify all night, format sticker sheets, listings. Um, Christmas movie marathon, Shopify was the death of me. Um, and then I finally opened and then I had to do homework. So moving along to December, I just put these two vinyls here and I made this um, this monthly as well. Love this as well with all of the paper shire and fox and cactus and scripts and whatnot. This is really top notch. I'm gonna probably try to incorporate some more mandalas when I do monthlies. Um, but yeah, this is great. Um, I did a giveaway, we had a first snow, um, decorated the house for Christmas, uh, decorated the tree, baked cookies. Um, let me see, I had, I got a new iPhone for Christmas, set that up. Um, so yeah, that was fun. And then this is from Sticky Essentials. I love the tall girl right here. It's the last week of my fall semester. Obsessed with peppermint chocolate chip shakes. Um, these little tree underlays right here is what I created. Let me zoom in. I don't know if you can see. But the little underlays I created. Oops, this thing is so thick I can't even open it with like that. Like I can't even lift it like that without it opening, I mean. Um, Worked on back in shop, sh shop stuff. Black Friday, Cyber Monday sale finished. Um, yeah. Took Noli to my mom to meet her up and she went with he went with her because we were doing finals. Um, I was really sad because I missed him. It gets harder like each time that like Noli has to go back to my mom's house for me. Um, like so he's like part time my dog part well, over the last year he kind of became part-time my dog like my mom got cannoli for us when I was 18 years old I was graduating high school so obviously a baby could not afford a dog so he's more like a family dog um and so you know starting college and whatnot and having a part-time job you know I couldn't <laughs> pay for all the bills for him and you know doing school and whatnot and then after you know a few years I worked full-time going into an office I still didn't really want to have Noli full-time because I didn't want him you know to be without me because he was so used to my mom working from home he has really bad detachment syndrome um so yeah but we'll see what happens I you know I did allude to something with my job so I'll tell you guys you know when that happens but 
Yeah, it's been harder and harder because like over the last year um, during COVID, he was able to stay with us for like seven, eight months. And so, you know, life and whatnot, it just gets harder to not see your dog. Um, so anyways, um, this is a kit that was gifted to me from my friend Cindy. Um, this is from Caress Press. Um, I really like this work from home situation here with this paper shire laptop, um, no, computer, uh, Christmas computer and the work from home script. This is just so pretty. I love how it turned out. Um, and then we have this here as well. I love the classic colors. Um, these are from, I forgot where they're from. Sin Sincerely D Designs. I got printables and I just foiled them myself. Um, so we have a um, extender here. Um, and then also an extender here as well. I love this, it's just so I can't. I just love Christmas. I'm so excited for fall and Christmas. It just goes too fast though as I got older. Um, so then this is the um, Christmas week for me. Um, this foil, most of it, I made myself. I made this foil myself. I made this foil myself. Um, the only thing I didn't make myself is the underlays. I just ordered those from Planner Pixie Co. She has printables and I foiled them. Um, but yeah, it was Christmas. Um, you know... I didn't feel good. I always have issues like feeling good on around Christmas. Um, so yeah, I think I took some time off. I'm gonna try to do the same again this year. That little work from home situation again. Um, went to Maryland for Christmas. Um, we had Christmas dinner. Met with family. Ollie came home with us. Um, then the next day, my mom got my new phone uh, for Christmas. Uh, the day out two days after Christmas um went to Bath and Body Works first watch uh she also got my grandma a phone so um we you know dropped that off I set up my new phone so yeah this is January um and this is the January monthly not too eventful only thing that's like special to me in January is like my grandma's birthday um, I had some custom sale, new releases, Biden Harris inaugurated, Capitol Riots shit show. Um, I had swollen eyes. I had to get new glasses. I was wearing contacts too much, and I probably need to take them out right now. Um, WandaVision premiere, which I was obsessed with. So limb. Love it. Um, and we got pizza at this, you know, authentic Italian place. Um, so this was New Year's love this i decided to use like a christmas party i think this was called christmas party or xmas party um from scribble prints co but i thought it helped to like continue the vibe into um the new year continue the christmas vibe because the new year fell on like the first so i was still in the spirit um but this is when i got my new glasses and i had my eye appointment and my eyes were swollen etc um, so yeah, not too much happened. I did go to Ikea with my mom and my cousins on uh, New Year's Eve. And that was that. <laughs> I love Ikea. Moving along, this is also, this is a kit from Crest Press, I mean. And then I decided to have like a New Year's type of vibe, you know, for this. The Celestial is just everything. I love the colors. I love the foil and whatnot. Um, I am constantly torn on using my black scripts with like other foiled scripts. I think certain foils it looks okay with and some it does not. I don't think it looks great with like gold um, but we'll see. But I marked the capital shit show. I did a silhouette project with my mom. I had to make labels for my friend. I had a follow-up appointment for my eye exam. And yeah. This is a uh, Scribble Prince Co. It was a mystery. Um, I marked lots of yummy food. And whatnot. Mom picked up Noli. I was sad. Um, upset tummy. My chocolate chip gelato. We got pizza again, I guess. Um, or maybe we just had it left over. Um, but yeah, this, you know, I really love the colors. I love all of this. Moving on, this is a Caress Press mystery. I was obsessed with this. It's so cute. Love this little, you know, box here. It's so cute. I just love it. Um, I don't think there's anything too eventful that happened. Um, I had a fast food flash sale for, um, my new fast food doodles I came out with. I forgot to put some scripts or either right there. Whatever. 
Um, this is the week I went back to uh, classes for the spring semester. Um, it was my grandma's birthday here. And then like a week later is my dog's birthday. Um, not too much worth talking about. I forgot to mark Snowden, the movie, I think in there, but um, I was in a security class. So we had to watch that for one of our like assignments about Edward Snowden. Moving along, this is February. Um, I love that I put the little Fox and Pip heart banner there. Just looks so cute, I love it. I don't know which pen I was using, but this is so cute, I'm obsessed. Um, this is so cute as well. Um, this is like the Frozen inspired kit. Um, I did the little boxes on the side like that because I didn't need extenders throughout the week. Um, but this is the, you know, the week that my dog turned seven years old. So I marked his birthday on the first. Um, I'm trying to see nothing too crazy. Formatting customs takes a long time. Um, moving on, here is the week of Valentine's Day. I did decide to use this art again, but I use it for Valentine's Day as opposed to my anniversary like last year. Um, so this is the Valentine's Day, you know, reformat of this, um, I think it's called Netflix and Chill. Um, nothing too crazy going on. Um, I'm like, what is Good Eats? But now I remember. Um, that is a place that my boyfriend and I sometimes get food from. I just haven't had it in a while. We got fancy, um, dinner. We got Bonefish Grill. Uh, for Valentine's Day the day before and we also had sushi on Valentine's Day. Um, I made heart waffles. So yeah, that's that. Then we have this kit here. This is from Scooper Prince Co. It was a mystery. Um, I, I like the good things happen to babes who hustle. That's from Rest Press. Um, so then, yeah, I don't know which, oh, I know which pen this was, but I think it was like something about it. I don't remember. Um, I went to Thai food with my mom, we had a five hour talk, returned my boyfriend's shoes that he got for Christmas that didn't fit, went to the Nespresso store for the first time, my scraper broke, I had an all hands production. For me at work, an all hands production, um, just to give you an example or tell you what it's about, is like um, I film the production of uh, our video all hands. Um, so right now everything's remote. Um, at my job, we used to do them in person, but um, everything is remote, so we live stream like an uh, all hands meeting to the whole company. So that's what that means. Um, this, I love this kit so much. This is Control Alt Delete. Um, this is a foil that I made myself. Um, I was editing videos for HR, lots of stuff. Love all the foil. I did the four course meal date with my boyfriend. That was so much fun. I want to do it again. Um, this is March. This is an uh, old monthly from Scope Prince Co. Um, I used it because it's my boyfriend and I's anniversary on the 18th. It was our four year anniversary. Um, it's just a lot of school stuff. $2 Tuesday, first $2 Tuesday ever. I really want to do more. I just need to get on like a proper like planned all the way out schedule and I always write it down I just never get the time to do it and I'm working on it so um AC finally turned on had issues with my fox and cactus mail being delivered I won the paper shire giveaway I was up until 3 a.m. doing orders so lots of stuff worked on Legos with my boyfriend got crumble so yeah, this is um, the Happy Mail kit, I think, from Scroll Prince Co. Uh, I think this was the WandaVision finale. If not, it was the week after. Nothing too eventful. Um, yeah, that might have been the finale. Then this week, this was like her best press kit. I believe it's still in her shop. I think you can still pick it up. Um, I forgot what it's called, but it definitely reminds me of like Gossip Girl and just the spring. Um, this is my anniversary week. I forgot to use the fashion couple like tall box. Um, I ordered it and had the wrong one. Then I ordered it again and I lost it. So that's how it goes. But it was our four year anniversary. Um, we played Animal Crossing in the morning with Cindy. Then we exchanged gifts. We went and picked up sushi and um, some boba and 
cookies, then we had quality time, and then my period started. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, I had midterms, uh, made drinks, stemmy check, um, Bub's car in the shop, print cut and foil, had um, Thai food, insomnia. Oh, we also, yeah, we went to insomnia cookies. We had a late night adventure. That was fun. Um, we had cherry blossom pop tarts from Ted's, Ted's Bulletin. Um, I had to put my car in the shop. Uh, I got the paper shower giveaway. I won that. B6 setups and I ordered Oristel. All right, and then this is um, from Scribble Prince Co. I love this art. It's by Darcy. Um, it just looks great. I love the handwriting here. It, it becomes better, you know, to me uh, compared to the beginning. Um, but I got to see my friend and give my friend, um, I think, our Christmas gifts. I don't know. Um, I registered for the vaccine. Um... My boyfriend and I had a little date. Superstore finale, super sad. Um, we did Legos, like I said. I was foiling orders, design, moves, etc. Four years since a first official date. Okay, so yeah. Like, so my boyfriend and I mark like our anniversary as like the first time we hung out. When do you mark like your anniversary? Um, let me know. But yeah, we had like a fur we had like a date but it wasn't like an official date and the official date was i believe the 25th yes it was the 25th um also it was my um my one of my friend's birthdays i used the sailor moon kit because of her but um uh so we then we went on a real date to like the cherry blossoms in dc and then we had thai food and it was really fun and cute so that we before covid we made it a tradition to go see the cherry blossoms you know every time around that and um go to our thai place that we went to on our first date but it was closed during covid so we could not do that um i think it's still closed so we'll see so this is the April monthly. Um, I got my COVID vaccine number one, and then I got my COVID vaccine number two. Um, I went to Ikea with my mom. Marked Kinsey's birthday. Um, it was Easter. Started to do online gaming with my boyfriend and his <clears throat> brothers and his brother's significant others. Uh, my boyfriend and I went on a little date. Uh, my boyfriend got a new haircut. Um, my dog was getting ticks. I did adulting with my mom, which means I registered my car uh, to me because I don't live in the same household as my mom anymore, unfortunately, <laughs> some days. <clears throat> Anyways, um, this is the week of Easter. I had a dentist appointment. Um, I was watching Gossip Girl, the old, the old school one. Um, we did a rando knot adventure. Um, for Easter, we went, you know, I had to do lecture notes, quiz, and then we went to ice cream with um, my family, and then Noli came home with us the day before. I went to Ikea with my mom. We had duck donuts. Um, my mom and I had Wendy's, and then we went to this place called Tiki Thai. It's Thai food. Um, vaccine number one right there. That wasn't as bad. I was just a little sore, but I actually moved more. I think when I got my second shot, I was much more in my head about it. Um, this is, uh, the kit I used to mark Kinsey's birthday, um, so happy birthday Kinsey on the 9th, um, Kinsey of Kinsey's Creations, if you're not familiar, um, the foil underlays and the, this, and this are all from her, as, as long as the, um, sparkly hollow scripts, um, we played games, I made chips and guac, I made guac homemade for the first time. Um, Crumble let me down, so did Kung Fu Tea, because they didn't have what I wanted. So yeah, there's that. Then we have this week here. Um, I really love this art, you know, I can't remember who, is it Leia and some Luna Designs? Um, not too much going on. I had a paper, you know, getting into um, the end of the semester. I loved this foil pairing. Got Crumble. Um, I have all the cravings. Period started. Cool. 
Um, working on a paper, lectures, Nola is being a mess. Two weeks until semester finishes. Then we have this um, here. I love this art. I used it the year before, but just not on the same weeks, um, and it was reformatted. So I love the like hollow, sparkly hollow. I love this writing in this pen. Um, really happy with how my handwriting has changed. Um, we watched Jojo Rabbit. Uh, I'm trying to see. I started my sticker organization, it seems. Um, mouth guard, drama. Oh, yeah. Uh, so my boyfriend, he really wants me to wear my mouth guard. Um, I'm really bad at it. And so I grind my teeth really bad. And so he was, like, trying to get me to set it up, but it was, like, hurting my mouth, and I didn't set it right. Um, and then he had to, like, force me, like, with my mouth to set it up because he was like, you need to wear this. So, yeah. Moving along, this is May. This is my May highlights. Uh, my boyfriend was fully vaccinated this day on the 1st. Um, I got, I think I got an A on my IT uh, security final, I don't remember. Um, no, I had more tick fiasco, played more games. We had dinner at Nando's for my, um, for Mother's Day for my mom and my grandma. I was sick the day after. I don't know if it was Nando's or what. Nobody else got sick but me, so it had to be something. Um, then I had a date with my boyfriend, another date, then a date day with my cousin, then I went to Top Golf with my dad and my siblings. On the 21st, my boyfriend and I started looking at rings. Um, also on Mother's Day, uh, my um, laptop got broken, and luckily I had Apple Care, so I just had to pay like 100 bucks, but the screen was cracked. Oh, so I got it back. Um, but yeah, we started to look at engagement rings, which is exciting. Um, you guys will know when I'm engaged. It's probably not within like the next year, but my boyfriend just wanted to kind of start looking. So that's what we did. I FaceTimed Cindy. Um, then the next, you know, Saturday the 22nd, I had a date day with my best friend. And I love these little paper shire girls. And then uh, my boyfriend and I had a little date. I don't know if we had a date. I don't know if we just picked it up or what. Um, played more games. It was a carnival um, close to where I live. Work drama. The guy who used to be my manager, um, like they removed him as being my manager like back in February and then removed him completely in May. Um, then we had a cookout on my mom's. And only had another tick. Went to Sushi Queen with my boyfriend and then we also went to Fredericksburg. Um, I went with my boyfriend and my family and I had cookout for the first time. Um, so this is to mark the last week of the semester. Nully took drama. Um, this is when I did all my adulting with my mom. So went to the DMV, we had Starbucks, we went to HomeSense. Um, we got Thai, I had a little like shrimp taco. Um, went to my grandma's house, went to the nursery, container store. We were looking for pomelos. Um, then my boyfriend's car window broke and we got boba because I think it was National Boba Day. Um, I marked the highlight as I was fully vaccinated. It was the last week of the semester. Um, some of these foil icons I created. So this one here, this one here, this one here, this one here, this one here. Um, so you guys will see those soon. Um, COVID vaccine number two. I had to change my license plate. I hurt my elbow. I don't remember how. Um, I had to go to the leasing office to get my like sticker changed over for my license plate. Had crumbled, there's a tree down, we got sushi um, planned. This is an icon I made and so is this one and then I watched some YouTube Glee videos. This is my sticker here from my shop, same as this Chick-fil-A script and that one, that one, that one. Um, but yeah, I marked uh, going to the grocery store, I was tired, Chick-fil-A, Target. My boyfriend's vaccination, got McDonald's and chicken and beer. Um, so yep, yeah. this is the week of Mother's Day. I love how it turned out. I definitely lean towards like more adult Mother's Day kits. Um, so this is Mother's Day. We um, had to, you know, run around and get stuff ready. Um, I had a Zoom session with my boyfriend's family for Mother's Day. Um, they're not uh, on the side of the continental US, so have to zoom and facetime and whatnot for now um, i had a genius bar appointment because either my dog or my boyfriend broke my freaking laptop screen 
We had dinner at Nando's. Um, we got my mom some wine at Cooper's Hawk. And yeah, had a test. Was doing organization. This was, May was really hard for me to finish my spreads for you guys because it's just, it dragged on too long. I um, had a really bad foot cramp this day. It was really bad. Like I had to take my shoe off and everything. I was driving home, my foot cramped. It was horrible. Um, yeah. Then I had to pick up my boyfriend's car. We had wine on the balcony. Blah, blah, blah. <sighs> it was not fun. Um, then this, I did the mixed metal bougie um, underlays. I used the half cut headers. I'll never do that again, but I think it turned out great. Let me just do a little wiggle. Love that. Um, you know, I marked summer break, got my laptop back. Um, I'm trying to see all hands test. I did the all hands here. Um, had a little date with my boyfriend. Another date the day after farmer's market. Hung out with my cousin. Um, Picked up my laptop. Oh, these Karens were fighting. Also, okay, so let's go back to here real quick. I went to Top Golf with my dad and my um, brother, and my sister, and my sister's friend. Um, it was fun. It took forever. My like siblings, they were complaining. They are. I want to say, my brother. He's got to be like seven or eight, and my sister, she's almost ten. So, they were complaining. And I'm 26. So. Um. But on this day, we picked up my laptop at the Apple store and these two Karens were like fighting out front. It was so funny. Like one of them, she was complaining. She had this iPad that um, that like she wanted them to help her set it up. And it's like, lady, it's a pandemic. They're not going to walk, like hold your hand and help you set up this iPad. She bought like a cellular iPad. And they're like, you need to call your like cell phone provider and get it activated. And like, she was like, well, you mean to tell me they just, they just let people buy iPads and you guys just send them home and you don't help them and da da da. It's so extra, so dramatic. And then like, as she was getting upset and like about to storm off, she like backed into another lady and her husband. And the other lady that was like, she wasn't even being a Karen. And she was just telling her to watch where she was walking. And then they started fighting and like one was like, F you and your mom. It was just so funny. It was just such a mess. So only one Karen, but it was so funny. Um, I was like, what the hell? I never get to see drama like ever. But anyways, um, this week, I used this Grover Friends Co. Farmer's Market Kit. Love it so much. Um, I'm trying to think. Had a mall date, started looking at rings. Bought an espresso pod, FaceTime with Cindy. Then I had my bestie date with my best friend. We did Starbucks, Farmer's Market. I had this lemonade, went to a mocktail stand at the Farmer's Market. Um, we got BurgerFi, went to Ulta, um, Target, and we played a game. And then we got Tiki Thai. Um, on Sunday, I marked walking with my boyfriend and my dog. Got Costco, Wegmans, we played Villainous. Um, I made a Raspberry Sprite Lemonade Mocktail. I don't know if this is when I first started watching The Good Place. No, it wasn't. But I finished it by now. Um, so you guys will see that and play with me. Also, I'm about to like, pause and resume because my camera's going to cut me off. All right, so yeah, so um, not too much besides like looking at rings, which was really exciting and getting an idea of what I like um, and feeling like our future is getting secured. Um, so yeah, so then this is our, this is the week of Memorial Day. Um, not too much happened uh, or going into Memorial Day. It didn't happen yet. Um, I had a new release for customs uh, sale. Um, I cleaned the ice maker. Um, that was when my boss was kind of fired, ex-boss, whatever you want to call him. Did listings, custom sales script, it was up till 3 a.m. doing that. Had a fam drama, I don't remember what. Um, Nolly was being a mess. Had a sushi queen date, went to Fredericksburg, went to the Amish market. I had cookout for the first time. I ordered some Thai food, I was mad at my boyfriend because he's out late and he didn't tell me he was going to be out late. I chilled with cannoli. Um, Mm. Tiki Thai with Bo and Mom. So the next day, my family, they were here. They came here like Friday, I think. But I didn't really see them until Sunday. Um, some family that was visiting from Michigan. And so um, we all went to my grandma's house. And then after that, we 
my mom, my boyfriend, we were hungry, so we went to our Thai place we like, and then we went to this, um, like, local carnival, and we got funnel cake, and then we went to Walmart, because my mom won some goldfish, and she was, like, looking for tanks, so she still has the goldfish. She named them Bay and Jay, after Beyonce and Jay-Z. <laughs> um, so then this is June. I put this little vinyl here. I just love it. And then this is my June highlight, so I marked Happy Pride. Um, we had a team lunch, uh, you know, close to where I work. Um, I turned my scripts into fonts. Let me see. Um, I had a shopping date with my boyfriend, and then we went to Guapos. We had a date. Um, it was my mom and my boyfriend's birthday. Let's see. Noli had surgery. Canoli, my dog. Um, he had a, like, cyst close to his eye, like a tumor. Um, it was benign, but um, it was really scary. Um, I marked a bestie date with my friend at the Cheesecake Factory. That's when he told me he was going to be moving to Florida and going to work for Disney. So I miss him a lot. Um, I worked on shop stuff all day, finished the custom sale orders. I did a PO drop. Um, had a Brewster's date, um, Brewster's ice cream. Um, Honey Grow and my little cousin came over to our house and we played Mario Kart. Um, had a little date day and then did errands with my grandma and my boyfriend to prepare for a little mini fiesta for my mom and my boyfriend on the 27th. Um, we had fuzzy navels. It was dangerous. They're hella lit is what I wrote, but um, it knocks you on your ass. Um, career fair, BS. I found my AirPods. Well, actually someone found them and then I had to sign up by my um by my apartment like mailbox and my downstairs neighbor saw that and he texted me and he let me know that he had my airpods so I was like oh my god thank god and then we had one last hurrah on the 30th for my friend who was um who moved he's gone already um so this week I this is like leading up to my boyfriend like I wanted to have a kit for my boyfriend's birthday and the week before because my, him and my mom have the same birthday and then this is for my mom's birthday so we were supposed to have a sushi making class on the third it kept put, getting postponed and then it just never happened so um instead my mom she's going to new york city to visit her friends in september and we are going with her and she told my boyfriend he can select what um broadway show he wants to see because we never got to do the sushi making class and never got to do anything for his birthday as her gift to him so it's so sweet I feel so happy and so blessed to have like my two loved ones like really love on each other and my boyfriend feel accepted into our family um so yeah but this was a uh, memorial day um I did some tidying up I worked out I got a gym membership um made breakfast film and edit haul this is what this box looks like um Went to my mom's house, had cookout, and we just had quality time. Um, I was working on customs. Watched The Good Place a lot. Um, quality time with cannoli. I had five guys, and then my boyfriend went to his friend's house. We had it together, and then he left. Um, we were working out. This was like the height of like starting to become cicada hell. Um, if you've never heard of cicadas or had to deal with cicadas, like, congrats to you. Um, it was awful here. Um, there's a certain type of, they call them a brood, and I think they're called, like, brood X or whatever. It's just a nightmare. It's just, like, they're flying around, hitting your car, hitting your windshield, like, attaching themselves to you. Like, they don't suck your blood or anything like that. It's just so gross and disgusting. I just hate it. And, like, the way they, like, ugh, when they impact on your windshield is just so gross. So, yeah. Cicada hell cicada hell here as well i wrote yuck cicadas but it was my mom and my boyfriend's birthday the period started i had to work in the office um we had a birthday dinner at a place that my mom thought my boyfriend would like um it was not great for anyone would not recommend but it was a nice experience um, it was me my mom and my boyfriend and my mom's friend and then after that we got boba and I got some pretzel nuggets and then on Tuesday I forgot my laptop at home after I had already driven to work to get it like to go to work so I was just like um this is a sign to go back home so I got McDonald's breakfast and then went home 
Um, we had a roll cake for my boyfriend's birthday. It wasn't great, didn't love it. It was kind of dry. I'd rather him just have gone with like ice cream cake. Sorry. Sorry, Chris, if you watch this. Um, signed up for classes, had a Zoom lecture. I worked on my resume late, filmed the haul, and um, B6 stuff, which I've never uploaded the B6 stuff, but I hope to be hopefully doing that soon. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Um, I see. Um, this day we tried to have like a little date. Um, we tried to go to this little carnival that was like close by to us, but it was really crowded, so we we're like, never mind. Um, not too much, much eventful for this. Um, then this week was the week of my dog's surgery, so we dropped him off for surgery. I was off work, um, this week on Tuesday and Wednesday. On Monday, I had to work, um, but I was working from home. My mom came over because she had a dentist appointment and she was just going to drive. She had to get cannoli anyways to take him, so she took us as well. And we went there, you know, to help, you know, with Noli's recovery for surgery. So, on the way there, um, my mom lives in Maryland, I live in Virginia. We tried a new ice cream place called Jenny's. It's really good. You might see it in the grocery market sometimes because they have ice cream pints as well. But it was really good. We tried the fresh place. Um... See how we, my dad had, my dad, my dog had a successful surgery and then we went, um, where he was having surgery is kind of close to where me and my mom used to live and there's a sushi place there that we really love so we had some sushi and then that night my mom and I got insomnia cookies while my dog stayed, my dog, my boyfriend stayed home with our dog. Um, so yeah. Um, then on Wednesday I just took care of cannoli and like, you know, did stuff around the house for my mom and cooked for her and my boyfriend since they weren't off work, but I was. We watched Loki, me and my boyfriend, once I got home. I was in my feelings. If anyone's ever had a dog, if anyone has had anyone, a pet, anything that they cared about, you kind of know, like, I'm not saying like my dog's dying tomorrow. He could live until he's 20, you know, and I hope he does. Um, I'm just saying that like you kind of get to a point where you like realize you not even just with animals but also with people that like time is advancing and there's like nothing you can do to stop it and like we're all gonna die one day and I'm not trying to give anyone an existential crisis because trust me it sends me straight into one as well um but that was kind of like my thoughts and I was getting like very overwhelmed emotionally I was just like crying so as of my feelings and my boyfriend was consoling me um this day I was really mad at someone at work you know I work in IT so that kind of tells you what. Um, annoyed at work again. I had my cheesecake date with my friend. I was getting a sore throat, which I kind of am now from talking so much. I've been talking for like an hour. Um, we had a call with my boyfriend's dad. Um, I did orders all day, finished orders here. So yeah, that was that. And then this is the last week of June. Um, nothing too crazy besides like having a little party for my mom and my boyfriend that my grandma wanted to do. Um, so she prepared the food, I baked the cupcakes, and then we also got a ham. So we were running errands with her the day before um, to pick up the ham and whatnot. And I, you know, baked some fuzzy navel cupcakes for the birthdays. Um, my cousin came over for a little game night on the Switch. Um, we had, you know, stir fry for dinner me and my boyfriend I worked on my boyfriend's resume had a fight with my cousin we're okay now but we're like sisters so that's just how it is um I had a call with my mom and my grandma had Brewster's to feel better about fighting with my cousin um and then I had two I had like two parts of a midterm so like one was like on blackboard and one was not so I had a midterm kind of kind of not um so yeah, and that was the end of this. So that is it for my July 2020 to June 2021 planner. And now for the good part, and hopefully I speed through this before my camera dies on my battery, but um, you guys are gonna be getting, two people are gonna be getting this thick sack of planner leftovers. Um, I was gonna film a whole little bit, you know just like going through like this is how much is in this one and this is how much is this one i'm not gonna do that all right okay like i'm not gonna be like this has this many sheets and this has this many sheets and you can use this and you can use that i'm not gonna do that all right so you guys can already see how thick these leftovers are all right 
hold on, how thick these leftovers are, right? They're thick. And I'm also gonna be including this, this stuff here. Hold on, let me show you the boxes. The stuff in this box here, there's some albums, drawing cards, notebooks, whatever, stickers, and stuff in this box here. Sticker albums, whatever, so. So that's what's gonna be included. It's gonna be two people, and I'm gonna be splitting these up, putting them into cellos. Don't don't worry, I'm not gonna ship them, you know, loose. But putting them into cellos, putting them in a box, and shipping them. So, um, all you have to do to enter this giveaway, I'm gonna host it on Instagram. It's not gonna be hosted here. So let me pull this here. But um, if you want to enter the giveaway for this stuff for all this rack and leftovers because some of this is not just leftovers like there's two kits I'm gonna give away like kits I just can't use I, I don't want to use or whatever so I'm gonna be giving away actually three kits so there's this kit here which is the December mystery from caress press there's this kit from scribble prints co and there's one more kit somewhere it's you know I don't know where it is but it's in there so that's what's going to be given away. I will be hosting the giveaway on my channel. I mean, not on my channel, on my Instagram. So go follow my Instagram, at SugarDollPlans. It's all my socials are linked down below. I will be posting these spreads for my June, um, like all my June spreads. And that will be where I will host the giveaway. So go ahead and check that out. Um, but until then... That was it for this little flip through. I hope you guys enjoyed the stories. I hope you guys enjoyed, you know, the flip through. Hope I wasn't too boring. I hope I didn't talk too much. If I did, I'm sorry. Um, but let's go ahead and wrap it up. Um, I will be back on this channel, hopefully really soon with a um, plan with me for the week of 4th of July. I will be using the Pride Pool Party Kit from Scope Prince Co. So I'm hoping to get that up for y'all soon. Maybe even Friday, we'll see. Um, I don't think there's anything else I need to do. I was gonna try to set up my rose quartz. I'm really not feeling it though. So maybe I'll set it up after, but that's it for now, you guys. Um, I will talk to you guys in the next video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will talk to you later. Love you. Bye.